Well, of course, here at McMahon Stadium for training camp. It's a beautiful day. First of all, thanks for having us out on such a nice day. My pleasure. Always happy to have you guys out. Well, we're always happy to be here. And of course, since you took over as president uh, of the club, it's always been kind of one of your initiatives to really change and enhance that fan experience. Tell us a little bit about what uh, fans are going to be able to, to see and what's going to be new this season. Yeah, thank you for the opportunity. We had a really busy off season um, and a lot of what we do in the off season for the most part is plan in-game entertainment and all the non-football stuff that goes in and around the football game. But this year has been expressly busy. Um, behind us here or in front of us is uh, a brand new state-of-the-art field turf. Um, it's, uh, it's technology has improved to the point where it's going to be a big factor for health and safety for the players. There's a little more cushion to it, so it won't be as hard to fall on. Up behind us in the uh, northeast, northwest corners, uh, we blew out the, those old red walls and added about 10 to 12,000 square feet in each one of those corners, which will accommodate additional high-end portable washrooms and some really cool uh, concession opportunities. So, And it's just not you know, the, uh, the open flame grill right. concept. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but this gives us the opportunity to bring in some you know, closed concessions with serving fronts and to do some, some really cool things on the concession, concession side. And behind our cameraman here is a state-of-the-art video board, 30 feet by 50 feet. Um, it'll all be full motion video. It'll give the fans uh, you know, a, an opportunity to see replays and some of the things that we do in terms of contesting and fan engagement in a form that they've never seen before. So really, we're really excited about all the components, but that one's going to have a major wow effect. People are going to notice that one as soon as they come into the stadium. Yeah, absolutely right. And they'll notice the additional washrooms as soon as they've sat here for about half an hour. Yeah, I think that'll <laughs> make a huge impact too. <laughs> now, when you guys uh, come up with your plan and, and the enhancements that you want to make, is a lot of that uh, decided based on fan feedback? Yeah, absolutely. We spent the off-season uh, fully engaged with fans. We had a couple of large groups down at the Abbas and Young Club, our partners at the Dome, mm -hmm. uh, and, and a couple uh, a week over at Nick's, and we just uh, talked about what's going on, what our hopes and dreams are, and in turn, more importantly, we got to hear feedback from them in terms of what they wanted. So, yeah, what, we're, what you see today in terms of the improvements uh, is, is a result of definitely encouraging fan feedback. Now we talk about the season just uh, kicking off of course training camp happening right now in front of us. What uh, what can we expect uh, from the team this year? Obviously a pretty pretty exciting season last year. I know we don't want to get too much into the details. We'll leave that to uh, sportscasters like Alan and Nolan. But what uh, what are your hopes for the team this year? How do we build off of last year? Well you know what with uh, guys like uh, John Hoffnagel in charge and Dave Dickinson at the wheel uh, I can I can assure you it's going to be a very very competitive team and I know I've heard from them often enough this year that they just want to win a couple of more games near the end so <laughs> a couple big ones <laughs> but it's going to be a great season fans will be impressed again wonderful when we uh, when we think about uh, ticket sales and executive suites and season tickets and game day sales how are we doing in that regard so far yeah we've had a really good year in that respect uh, we've got some good properties still for sale but for the most part sponsorship's been really good we brought on a couple of really new exciting sponsors this year, Dodge, the Dodge people, uh, and uh, Federated Co-op. For those of you that were out at FanFest or read anything about FanFest, you've heard about Cornish Flakes and the Stampeder branded products that'll be in co-op stores around Southern Alberta. So yeah, we've had a really good year on the sponsorship side. Season ticket sales are ahead of last year, oh, which is a big thing because last year we were ahead of the year before. So we're moving it in the right direction in every respect. And we're really appreciative for our fans and our sponsors that have you know, hitched onto our wagon, so to speak. Right on. Well, good luck this season, and thanks for having us out today. Thank you very much, and thanks for the opportunity. No problem. Stamps President Mr. Gordon Norrie, we're going to be back with more Go Calgary right after the break. Stay with us.